Legal spokeswoman for Trump, Alina Haba, joins me now in studio. Uh, studio. Alina, I'm watching this unfold. This broke like right as we were coming on air. This woman is riddled with problems. Just, and I'm not even a legal mind. No, she she's fallen on her fanny since the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> There's the headline for tomorrow, well folks. Done. But, uh, you know, no, truly, I mean, number one, this has completely been a disaster. It was a fake case to start with. Her arrogance, her demeanor has been incredibly telling. It's very uh, much the typical coordinated, as we know, as you mentioned earlier in your show, with the Biden administration move. They have these state DAs, AGs coordinating to take down Trump. Well, she just took herself down in the most public display uh, of chaos and disgrace, frankly. Um, so I'm not surprised. The case will not go forward before November now. We do have a stay, which is great. Our team did amazing over there. Yeah, no, that was a, a fantastic. And I think they got all the evidence out. But like that judge works in the county that she works in and he was up for re-election too. So I'm not saying anything, but I might be insinuating that there might have been some reason that he didn't eject her from the case. But right. Um, and we were talking about this before. Uh, New York City Police Department, they are revoking, now that Donald Trump is convicted as a felon, they're revoking mm -hmm. his pistol permit, which I think is a total stunt to throw egg in his face. What say you? Yeah, I think that all of this is a PR stunt. Um, they try and knock him down. They call up witnesses in trials that are irrelevant to have a good headline, to have a distraction. We've seen it time and time again. And I love the police. I know you do. Yeah. We love our armed um, men and women that sacrifice for this country. And I don't blame them. They have to follow protocol. But what the problem is, is why did we get here? Why did we get to a point where a former president and mm -hmm. the likely future president has now been um, admonished, has now been put in this trial that was a sham uh, for something that nobody else has ever, ever been convicted of, let alone right. tried for? It's, it's a sad state, like I've said, but New York has completely fallen apart. Let's talk about this gag order because it's still like I thought they lifted it as soon as the the conviction came down. He's still gagged. It is I mean this yeah. is a more election interference like to the nth degree. Yeah, so am I. It's unbelievable because the gag order is not just to him. And I, and I say that because obviously he is the biggest voice. But imagine that he, his campaign, his spokespeople, people in his control have a gag order under uh, this order still until the sentencing. Um, and it, it's really, truly unconstitutional. Your First Amendment right for any American mm -hmm. is incredibly critically important. But then you take the level of importance of the individual that's now running for office that needs to speak on issues the American people need to know did you do this? Did you do what some of these witnesses are saying? And he can't respond. I can't respond. That is incredibly un-American. Yeah, I, I mean, it just seems crazy. And even more news that's just coming in as we're going. The, for the, this is the documents case. Judge Cannon down in Florida is now considering whether Jack Smith's appointment the, to the special counsel was even legal at all because he was right. a civilian. There was no Senate confirmation. That's right. Merrick Garland just poof, created a position. Well, it's no different than some of the people that we've seen try these cases. Again, my gag order prevents me from going into details, but the last That's case really we had, <laughs> it really is. But the last, we had people from the administration come over, sit and prosecute cases against a President Trump, Biden's uh, opposition. I mean, this is third world stuff. It's not a joke. Yeah, I think one of the things he's just got to do is got to go in there and absolutely clean house. But, yes. at, you know, at, at some level, these are all state prosecutors. And Merrick Garland yesterday was like, oh, that's an independent office. And hmm. Matt Gates was like, I know it's an independent office, but I want to know if you spoke with him. And he wouldn't answer the question. I know. I saw that. So this is their specialty. They try and say, oh, well, I believe what Merrick Garland said was, hey, Matt, why don't you put a request into the DOJ and we'll decide what we're going to do about yeah. that. Yeah. OK. It's a very simple question. Have you spoken to them? Have you spoken yes to no. them? The answer is yes. The answer is 100 well, percent. You yes. have the because White House if it logs. Was, no. Then, then shut us down, us conspiracy theorists, us crazy MAGA Republicans that don't do anything but hate this guy. We love our country, yeah. and our country is based on transparency. It's based on the DOJ not being weaponized and not having a dual judicial system. That is America, and the man wouldn't answer the question that would completely implicate him. And I have some news for you. If and when President Trump wins in November, we will get to the bottom of all of that. A hundred percent. Yes, yeah. that is definitely a thing. Well, Alina Haba, one of my favorite MAGA conspiracy theorists. Appreciate you coming in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right.